so bad guy. I can see why people actually enjoy this character. It's a really, really damn fun character. Um, his movement feels great. He feels fairly fast, not as fast as Chip or not as slow as a Potemkin, of course, but he's like right in the middle where like it feels really nice to move around with him. He has very good normals, insane corner carry. His combos in general look amazing and uh, all his moves just feel great to hit with, right? Every time you hit a far H, for example, or an H, basically no far H, but every time you hear a counter hit H or a counter hit 6H, it feels amazing, you know? The combos you get right after just just feel so... I don't know, I don't, I don't even know how to explain them. Like explosive, like the animations, the fire, everything, like the, everything about the character just feels great. Like the power you feel when you're playing him, it's, it's amazing. Um, however, I ran into some of some issues that don't stem so much from the character, but more uh, from myself as a player, as I've been kind of spoiled by Mei's normals. I was kind of trying to play him as Mei with a DP, and while that's somewhat true, some people have told me that Sol is Mei with a DP, he doesn't really play the same way. Mm. I thought I had to rely a lot on conditioning my opponents and a lot of hard reads basically. Especially since So is a very common character, most people know how to deal with him. So it's really not that easy for me to fight good players with him, especially when I'm learning the character because everyone just managed to counter me almost immediately since I have a very simple soul. I started to have some more success with the character once he started going a bit crazier with him. Once starting on the, once he started understanding the his tools a bit more. So yeah, as as I kept playing Soul, uh, I kept getting better and better. Of course, I played him for a week, uh, four streams, and the rest of the days I just played him offline. And honestly. He's definitely a character that rewards people that are very creative in the way that they use their tools. It rewards people that are good at adjusting on the fly. And it rewards people that really want to get the most out of their counter hits. Which are, oh and no, those are things that I actually struggle a lot with. Um, with Mei, of course, I can somewhat improvise combos. However, the way that soul combos are improvised compared to how Mei combos are improvised are very different. Um, I feel that soul, soul combos are way, way, way more difficult to pull off than May combos for the basics, right? May combos can get very difficult, but soul BNBs for the most part require you to be a bit more aware of what you're doing. If you're not aware of what you're doing, most of them are gonna drop, and if they drop, you're in a shitty situation more than if you drop a combo with May, in my opinion. Uh, some of the tools I, that are really good, but I couldn't really get to work with because they have quite a bit of a learning curve are actually his jump P, his jump HS, and his air grab. Those three moves right there are actually surprisingly difficult to use. When I would play Soul, uh, I mean, when I would play against Soul, uh, those three buttons are the three buttons that would actually counter me a lot. So in my head, I thought, oh, okay. Those three buttons are, are, are going to be the buttons I'm going to go for in neutral. However, it's not just a matter of pressing the button and just doing whatever you want with them, right? <laughs> it doesn't work that way, sadly. As much as I want that to be true, they actually require a bit of labbing to use and it's not just totally free. Um, I was actually surprised, however, at how Sol is a simple character to pick up, but it's actually pretty difficult to use in the sense that as I, as I said before, most people know how to fight the character, so if you're a beginner, you're gonna have a really rough time against people that are even slightly more experienced than you, since they're gonna be more used to fighting Soul. However, you fight with other beginners, um, it will be much easier for you, since Soul has all the tools to completely obliterate beginners. But as you level up, you will have to actually start getting more and more solid with your character. And once you're solid enough, you can actually reincorporate crazy play into your game plan which is great i mean that's that's in my opinion a sign of a pretty good character so about soul like now who might like Soul? like what kind of players would actually enjoy soul bad guy so for one 
like the main thing would be people that like to play one of the main characters of the game if not the main character that's just from the you know there's always people like that and from the looks wise as his aesthetics you know the fire the explosions just really badass guy so it's pretty much your character now gameplay wise if you want a character that feels somewhat simple that's pretty easy to pick up that doesn't have anything overly tricky you can very well pick him up it's gonna be great you can actually learn guilty gear very well with soul however you have to be very careful not to fall into bad habits which is very easy with soul he has a dp he has a bunch of other moves that fly him across the screen and pretty much make it kind of you know easy to fall into traps and you don't want that it's going to somewhat slow down your progress after a while since people will be able to counter your stuff pretty quickly which is something that was actually happening to me by the last day i was starting to play a bit more crazy but i felt that that wasn't the way to go with soul and uh people who might not actually enjoy soul i feel it's people that are actually looking for a character that has a lot of mix-ups and a lot and a very crazy rushdown soul is well he can do that it's not really the character that's gonna give you the best bank for your buck in that department um, his mix-ups are great don't get me wrong but they require a lot of conditioning for them to be very very effective it's not just a 50 50 that you do and hope for the best so yeah that's pretty much it for my soul impressions i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, i just want you to let you guys know that you can follow me on youtube well subscribe on youtube of course follow me on twitch and on twitter and hopefully you can catch me streaming i have i don't have a set schedule sadly but i stream i still stream pretty often the next character as of the recording of this video should be answer so make sure to tune in to that i'm going to be learning answer for the next week and expect a video just like this one once i'm done learning the character hopefully it's gonna go well and uh, guys have a great day and see you next time Bye bye